everybody, welcome back to the dumbest hobby channel on all of YouTube, Pitstain Hobbies. Um, it's almost, it's almost Halloween. We're having our Halloween party next Saturday. Uh, it's going to be awesome. And I needed a couple of very fancy decorations to put upstairs. And uh, this is going to go up there. And my two prized possessions that I've had for over 20 years, my Hot Wheels Elite, Ecto-1 and Ecto-1A. These are by far the most beautiful, detailed, accurate-ish, um, 118th scale models of the Ecto-1. Uh, unfortunately, Hot Wheels Elite did tank um, fairly early on into its existence and uh, ceased to exist. So uh, there's still some odd listings on eBay from China for things, and I, I don't quite get it. But we're going to unbox both of these, assemble them, and show them off side by side on this video. And uh, I'm sure everybody wants to see this. Uh, Diecast people, and Ghostbusters people, and collector people, and everybody involved. So let's put Ecto-1A off to the side here for now. You can tell uh, Ecto-1 is a little yellowed from the years, uh, the box at least. It is looking less yellow on camera, but that being said, um, let us remove it from its slumber. Oh man, I haven't had this out of the box in some time. It's been a minute, Maverick. Um, but now it's millet time. Um, we've got this little guy here. So we're just gonna keep that safe over to the side. And we've got, oh, okay. We'll do that next. Right up here. There we go. Look at this thing of beauty. Um, I'm going to very, very carefully... i got to unscrew all four of the retention screws here. So just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. All of our screws are unscrewed. And there we go. There's the lovely lady right there. And we are going to put this on top of the box and take out our lovely Ecto-1. Look at that. It looks so good. Um, top and bottom. The bottom's not super detailed, but it's, it's, it's still quite nice. And the back windows are down. And there's the there's the Honeywell on the back of the oscilloscope. There's the interior of the front. There's the back. Look at the gold box right there. Ah, oh, so nice. The plate. Ecto-1, we've got this, we've got the phone, we've got the oscilloscope there, it's looking, looking beautiful, and of course, we're not going to be complete without an underhood shot, and the Cadillac 390 V8 looks absolutely beautiful in there, it's, it's quite nice. Um, for a 118th scale from 22 years ago, basically, it's very nice. And obviously, the roof rack lights look amazing. The front plate looks awesome. The front grill with the strobes, very nice. <clears throat> now we're going to open this fella up. This is where all the goodies are. Here's all the goodies. Um, oh, yeah, we do have back windows. Um, I think my back windows actually fell out at some point the glue dried out and they fell out now, I'm, now that i'm seeing these i'm remembering that the windows were in the car and they did dry the, the glue dried out and just fell into the car it was kind of uh kind of ridiculous okay those aren't scratches it's just dust and detritus and debris we're gonna take our little roof rack out of here oh it's such a delicate little thing. It looks so amazing. Look at that. 
can point that forward. And it's only got one antenna on it, which, um, to be honest, is not absolutely accurate. Um, you got you got the strobe and the siren and the propeller ray at the front, the green tube on the side, and the ray dome and the radar dish and the air tanks, and that's awesome. So we're going to go ahead and plop that on there. And then what do we got here? This is probably the ladder. I'm assuming. No, no, it's the gurney. It is. It is the gurney. And no, there are no proton packs um, with this with this ecto. And the gurney will just slide right into the back. We'll close her up. And then we have a few of the accessories. Here's the ladder and the blue tubes and the gray tube. So Uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so the ladder is going to go in there, down there, really doesn't have anywhere to go. Let's see. Put you down, get you in there, get you there. There we go. We'll keep this down for now. Turn the car around. Now we've got the ladder. And that... Is that, is that going to mount up to anything? No, it's not. It really isn't. Um, so we're going to put the roof rack back on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's actually two holes in the roof rack where the ladder goes in. I haven't put this car together, everyone, in over 20 years. So bear with me. And then this fella will go into here and into its little homes there. There we go. Look at that. And then, and then. I don't know if there's a hole. Or this is just supposed to kind of tuck in there. I think it's just going to. Yeah. It just tucks in there. And this one just tucks under here. Then we have our our aerials mounted. And there is Ecto-1, uh, minus, <laughs> minus its back glass, which I'm, uh, I'm just going to leave that in the box. I'm not going to tempt fate. I mean, when I... So the next house we have, I will uh, put these back on permanent display. Um, I, I took them out of rotation... When we moved back in 2017, and they, they have not seen the light of day since, you're all the first people to see this in a very long time, along with me. But yeah, there we go. There's a tiny bit of dust. I kept them in a glass cabinet out of the sunlight to keep them looking nice. And now, let's break out <clears throat> Ecto-1A. This should be fun. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Looks so good. I love Ecto-1A. I actually, actually, I actually kind of like Ecto-1A a little more than Ecto-1. It, it's weird. It's, I'm a kid from the 80s. I saw this car in person in 89 in lower Manhattan while on a school field trip while they were filming the movie. And I saw this beautiful brand new Ecto-1A. And uh, 
I saw the old ratty, dirty, beat up Ecto One uh, parked near it, and I was just like, "Oh my God, what is that?" So let me get the screws out of the bottom of here, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And the back windows are still in this one, miraculously. And there's our Ecto-1A, Ghostbusters 2. It does not have the front amber strobe. So, yes, I see that. You see that. We all see that. Uh, front interior, pretty much the same thing. Um, back, though, slightly different. The rear of the vehicle. There's a, there's a computer screen in there. And we do have a gurney that is loaded with proton packs. Look at that. Not the most detailed things in the world, but uh, we'll take it. And there's there's the rear of the interior for Ecto-1A. Obviously, you know, quite different. They didn't just build the same car a second time and paint it different. They, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of changes. You got the different light bar in the front, obviously. We believe you, JL5 2020. Ghostbusters 2 logo, the call us, the different wheels and hubcaps. I love. I mean, I like the originals with the white walls, but yeah, I mean, I'm an 80s kid, so there we go. Um, I was born in 79, so 89, I was, I was 10 years old when this movie came out, and uh, wow, it is, it is absolutely amazing. 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters 2, 40th anniversary of Ghostbusters 1. And uh, let's take a look at the special bits and pieces here. Oh, hello, beautiful. See what we got here? We got the big, the massive, massive, quite insane roof rack. Be very careful removing this. Very careful. And, uh, Got the giant tank on the back and the different lights, the radome. Still just one antenna, big radar dish. Do we get direct TV on that? I'm not sure. But you got, you know, oh, so cool. And uh, the side tank is orange in this scenario. And we're going to ever so gingerly place that on the roof. There we go. Very nice. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot how cool this thing was. And we got our silver tube here. Um, that's, I think, going to go from the side of the vehicle. From the side of the vehicle into the giant tank on the back. That's going to go right there. We got our double blue tubes once again. And that's going to go from the side of the vehicle the side there and then we have uh, Ecto's big party piece from the movie we're back and Ghostbusters so let's get those in there and I'll get my uh, packaging out of the way and I believe Ghostbusters would go oh dope on that side I'd probably put a little bit of blue tack in these, um, or black tack, to hold them in place slightly better, because they really, a uh, really loose fit. And that tube's going to fall right off the second I move this car. Yep, it fell off. And we're going to put this on here. There we go. Uh, let me get a tiny bit of, of uh, black tack on there. By black tack, uh, it's like blue tack, except it's black. And this is in my Amazon store. Link down below. Check it out. Give me one sec. And we're back. And they're both assembled and looking lovely. Let's get this right here. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, 
so gorgeous. Oh, so beautiful. And of course, Ecto-1, the OG, the one and only. Oh, man. Uh, again, I really, I can't pick a lot apart about these at 118 scale, especially. Um, the only thing I would say is they should have had the little amber strobe right there. The little, that, that, that would have been, uh, it will be on the HasLab, I believe. There will be a module that pulls out of the bumper so you can put in the amber strobe in the HasLab 112th scale that's coming out soon. Um, but yeah, there we go. Oh, man. So cool. So cool. And side by side, I'm bumping them a little. Uh, be careful, Ian. These are priceless treasures. Ecto-1A and Ecto-1. Um, there's a lot of the same molds here, but even the die-cast mold had to be modified. The top of it, the top part, uh, between the two cars. So there, there was a, there was a, a decent amount of uh, retooling done between the two. And this one only has the one aerial here and it should probably go somewhere somewhere in there there we go um but yeah and uh the the, the just over the topicness of how top heavy and how much crap they added to the this the, the ecto-1a it's just amazing i mean the, the hazard you know the caution stripes the hazard stripes whatever they are um they don't match between the top frame and the door. By design, that's screen accurate. These were orangey, and these were yellowy. And I think HasLab even got that correct in the new, uh, the new uh, toy that's coming out, toy. Uh, these are, are scale model collectibles, and that, was, that is a toy. But yeah, there we are. Uh, they're looking amazing. Um, where are my windows? I, I got to... I gotta glue my windows back in here. I'm kind of feeling frisky tonight, like I might actually do that. And I do have some very clear uh, canopy glue that I could do that with. But either way, windows aside, there are the tw like 22 year old ish uh, Ecto One and Ecto One A. Let's get the rear view going here. Um, there we go. <clears throat> There we are. Quite different from the back, mostly just because of the bumper and the hazard stripe and obviously the rack, but yeah. And they're going to have the uh, correct rear bumper for the HasLab as well. Oh my God. Why are we missing two taillights? Are they in the box? Did they like fall off into the ether? Where are they? Oh <gasps> no. Did I lose them somehow over the years? Did they go missing? I'm so distraught right now. Like, what else has fallen off of these things? Let's take a look. Hold on, I'm looking in the wrong box. Let me look in Ecto-1A's styrofoam packaging. Um, I don't see any tail lights in here. Or in here, oh dear. Well, uh, that's unfortunate. These might have gone missing years and years ago. Uh, not to worry. I could always make a mold from one of these and make some clear resin with some red dye in it and replace those. So easy enough to do. Um, but wow, that's that's pretty crazy. So Ecto one, Ecto one A. And there we are, everybody. Oh, yeah. The Hot Wheels Elites. Oh, I don't think these will ever be um, exceeded in quality by a 118 scale, ever. Unless Auto Art really digs in, pays for the licensing, and does full send. Um, even then, who knows? But, uh, yeah. Either way, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a happy Halloween. And keep on busting. Adios. I've got to post a small addendum video. I looked at production photos of the actual car, and it turns out they actually replaced two of the taillights bullets with backup lights.
So that is actually, I didn't lose parts. They're accurate. They got little clearer lenses in them. Let me get a better camera view here. See, they got little clear lenses and they are reverse lights. So uh, we're all good. <clears throat> we're fine. So for real, <laughs> I, I hate, it sounds so cringy to say, Bustin makes me feel good. But either way, it's Miller time. Happy Halloween, everybody. Adios. For real.